What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Mighty Henna Team. This team was made by my friend Evan, and he actually got second place in a charity tour with this team. So I'm gonna make sure to link that down in the description below. But basically, the idea here is Mighty Henna isn't very good, but it can kinda take the place of the dark type Intimidate mon that you know and love that's everywhere. This set in particular, it has Intimidate, uh, and it has Throat Chop, Snarl, Yawn, Taunt, just to have as much utility packed onto it as possible. Throat Chop can block moves like Hyper Voice or Parish Song, or even Parting Shots from Incineroars, Snarl to drop special attack, Yawn to sleep things, and Taunt to stop Trick Room and such. The rest of this team, we have a nice balance. We've got a Firewater Grass Core of Rillaboom, Volcarona, Primarina. Volcarona can set up Quiver Dances and try to sweep. Primarina is just a strong mon. In this meta, it's just got great typing, and it can also haze if we run into a Dondozo. Dragapult is either a fast cleaner or something you can bring in the, in the front to do some big damage right away. It just, it's just a choice band set with Terra Ghost, Terra Blast, which is awesome. And then finally we have a Ferrigorath. It helps if the opponent tries to set Trick Room or is spamming priority. And Helping Hand can help Volcarona Sweet, maybe. Anyways, I'm gonna try this team. I don't have a lot of faith in Mighty Henna, but maybe at the end I will, so let's give it a shot. Alright, here we are. We've got a Talonflame, Garchomp, Tyranitar team. They also have Golden Go, pairs well with the Talonflame. And a Primarina of their own and a Mouse Hold. I'm tempted to say there might be something up with that Mouse Hold. I'm wondering if we're looking at a Pop Bomb Mouse Hold here. Uh, but anyway, we don't have the speed control that they have. We have Trick Room. But mostly what I want to do is survive the onslaught from Golden Go. Do I think Mighty Enna can take a Make It Rain? Oh, it's very specially defensive. I think maybe. Evan might be watching this and screaming at me that there's no shot, but I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, I'm also going to not lead Volcarona because Talonflame is likely their lead. Perhaps Primarina. Primarina is good into most of their team. I could just lead Primarina and Mighty Enna. The Intimidate will help us on the physical side. Primarina has good special defense. If we can get rid of Talonflame, I like Rillaboom. I also do Ferrigarath Volcarona because with Ferrigarath they can't Brave Bird. But Volcarona doesn't feel that great into Tyranitar Garchomp. I'm gonna bring Rillaboom and I'm gonna bring Dragapult last because I'm running out of time. Uh, I d I kind of see the idea behind Volcarona here, but I don't know because I'm going to want to burn Terra pretty early on, maybe. That's a decent card. I think I fought this person before. Uh, we'll see what their lead is. It's Talonflame Garchomp. Okay. Getting an Intimidate would be nice, but they might be clear Amulet on the Garchomp. They are not. Oh, getting an Intimidate on both is so good. I love that. Primarina is very happy to see that. How's our bulk looking? A lot of HP, some good defense. Thank you, Evan. That's a good set. They could swap. They could Terra Guard Chomp. I am just want to yawn the Chomp slot. I guess I could swap into Golden Go. But that's alright. And I'm going to click my Hyper Voice. I think Garchomp is scared enough, it's intimidated, it's sitting in front of a fairy. It's either going to want to leave or Terra, and I think it's the Terra on the Chomp. Yep, there it is. Into po- Are they going to have Choice Band Poison Jab here? Is that why they weren't Clear Amulet? Oh boy. And they're doubling into Primarina because of the Intimidate. Yep, bye Primarina. Ah, oh, great. And all I've accomplished is yawning a mon that wants to swap out anyway. No! <laughs> oh, well, there's one problem with Mighty Enna. They can ignore it, because it's not a threat. Alright, I get the yawn on Garchomp. I guess I can yawn the swap in unless it's Golden Go. Since you're locked into those moves, though, Dragapult can come in now. 
Like, uh, you're not, I don't mean you're locked in. Well, you're locked into Poison Jab. And you've broken your Gale Wings. If this Dragapult is faster, I should have checked before I swapped it in. I guess it was what I was going to go with anyway. Yeah, that's faster than Talonflame. So they can swap in Primarina or Golden Go. Or they can just throw a Poison Jab. Primarina and Golden Go would not appreciate a Snarl. Garchomp's definitely swapping. What do we got? Terra Ghost? Ooh, that's tempting. But they probably have Garchomp. They probably have Tyranitar in the back. I'm gonna Snarl. And I'm gonna click Dragon Darts, actually. Okay, they just stay in. We don't take out the Talon Flame. We do a decent chip into Garchomp there. They are just trying to set Tailwind. Fine. You're just gonna hit Mighty Enna then with Poison Jab. Don't really care too much about that. Mighty Enna gets to eat the berry. Ooh, Poison's not good. Another turn of that, we might go down. I wonder if Snarl takes out the Talonflame, and I wonder if I want it to. It does not. Alright, Mighty Yenna should be able to get a hit off, but do I want to swap in? I don't want to swap in Rillaboom. Oh yeah, the Chomp is asleep now, that's funny. Uh, I could swap Mighty Yenna. That might be the best play. I'm worried. I'm a little worried about getting Brave Birded on the Mighty Anna slot, but I think the Brave Bird would go into Dragapult. So I think this might be safe. And then I just throw darts to finish off Talon Flame. Doesn't look like either of them are swapping. But bringing in Rillaboom is so that I can get a fake out into whatever they bring in after Talon Flame goes down. Please hit my Dragapult. Yeah, okay, good. That's exactly what I thought. That did a little more damage than I was hoping, though. Oh, did you go down to recoil? Oh, that's great. That means two darts into the Garchomp. Uh, which actually means they get two free swap ins. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best. And then with Dragapult being Ghost Terra, there's nothing to stop them from Shadow Balling with Golden Go. They already burned Terra, so they're not going to be able to steal Terra Make It Rain. But they could just regular Make It Rain. Dragapult's probably in range. I guess Rillaboom does have high horsepower, right? Yeah. Here's Mousehold. Which likely can't touch Dragapult. And Tyranitar. Okay. You already burned Terra. You've got Tailwind. I need to get rid of Tyranitar. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap Dragapult to get an Intimidate. Is there any point in clicking Fake Out though? I think I would just take free damage. I think I want to click Wood Hammer into Tyranitar and get an Intimidate down. Because I think they would throw Pop Bomb into Rillaboom. Which we should live with one Intimidate and knock off into Dragapult. Come on in, mighty end of the rampaging. Let's go. Intimidate on Mousehold, good. No clear amulet on Titar either, great. It is Pop Bomb Mousehold. I was right to be scared. It looks like we can take 10, but it'll be iffy. Another one, another one, another one. That's 10, we lived. And it is knockoff, that's beautiful. That's perfect. There's no way Mousehold can win against Dragapult. Whew, unless they have Bite. I mean, if they have Bite, yeah, they can win if they have Bite. Nothing I can do about it. Because <laughs> they would be faster than Dragapult too. We don't have Sucker Punch. No, we don't have Sucker Punch on this set. Would an Intimidated Bite be able to knock us out? And then what could Mighty Enna do? Could Yawn, but we don't have Protect, so it doesn't get us anything. I guess, yeah, I guess that's the one problem. If they have a move like Bite, 
Does it take out Dragapult from here? An intimidated technician? Probably. And we can't tear her away from that. So I just need to throw Dragon Darts. We still have Tailwind up for one turn. Can't protect. Doesn't look like I have anything I can do other than click Dragon Darts. Tear a Poison on Mighty Anna. That doesn't help anybody. So I'll throw a Throat Chop. They just protect, stalling out their last turn of Tailwind. Okay. They already burned Terra, so they can't get away with, like, Fairy Terra Mousehold. The grass is going to heal any Sand Chip from this turn. I'm going to take more Poison Chip, though. I guess they read out a Terra if there was one. But yeah, that was, that was your turn to make a play. If you had Bite. So th they must not have Bite. But Bite is a super weird move. I don't know why I'm even talking about it. Why would they have Bite? Dragon Darts. Throat Chop. Battle is just cancelled. Yep, yeah, they know they can't hit Dragapult. Maybe they were hoping that they could bait out like a Dragon Terra or something. Anyways, GG. Alright, here we go. Pelipper, Basque Legion, Archaladon, Rain with Amoongus, Incineroar, Golden Go. How different. How creative. Um... Mighty Enna can intimidate Basque Legion. Snarl pretty much anything else. I don't hate it. What do I think their lead would be? Pelipper, Archaladon? We don't really have weather control. What's good in a Pelipper, Archaladon? Terragrass Volk is bad. Though... Okay, so Rillaboom... Nah, Rillaboom's only good into, like, Basque Legion. Our answer into our Chaladon, honestly, would be Volcarona. Honestly, Volcarona's not bad. It's just the Pelipper that's the problem. Dragapult doesn't feel too bad either. Maybe I can do Dragapult Rillaboom. Try to get rid of Pelipper as soon as possible. Bring Mightyena in the back, and Volcarona. Volcarona, I would want to tear her, though. Might not have a choice. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Might not be able to tear the Volcarona. Which is fine into Golden Go. Basque Legion would probably just click Last Respects anyway. Oh, no trainer card. Boo! Uh, once Last Respects gets strong enough, if I had Terra available, it probably wouldn't wave crash into Volcarona. It is Pelipper Archaladon. At least got that right. And they're faster than Rillaboom. Okay. What does that mean? What's your speed stat, Rillaboom? 112? Okay, they, they can be faster and just be modest. Maybe a dragon move into Pult. Maybe not. Really just want to get rid of... Can't just click Phantom Force though. I wonder if Dragon Darts plus Grassy Glide takes Pelipper. It might. They're fast, they might not have- oh, they have Protect. That's two darts into Ar Archaladon, which means two stamina boosts into Archaladon. Great. Phantom Force would have been the play there then. Ooh, a crit! I'll take that. They are in fact stamina though. But they're at half health. That's not bad. Don't Draco me. Oh, they Draco me. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was fun. I love getting Draco. I guess it's into Volcarona we go. This is our best shot to set up. It's not a great one. The 
should just hurricane. So what I need to do is protect Volcarona, wood hammer their Pelipper. Body press into Volcarona, got it. Understood. And Weather Ball into Volcarona. Okay, so the body press is how they're recovering for the Terra. Now the Pelipper's down to a Sash, I can glide that slot safely and set up some Quiver Dances. Let's go. Should have Tailwinded there. Yeah, they might not have Tailwind though. Chaladon is in fact faster than Rillaboom too. It's decently fast our Chaladon then. Uh, I'm gonna Quiver Dance and Glide. Only because Electro Shot would be at minus one, so I don't think I need to resist it yet. They can just protect Pelipper here, but like, I'm cool with that. That gives me an extra turn to Quiver Dance. Oh, they swap? They want rain in the late game. Must mean they have Basque Legion somewhere. But if they had Basque Legion somewhere, why wouldn't they be targeting the Rillaboom more? Yeah, you get the Intimidate down. That doesn't really matter much. You can get a Fake Out next turn. I could bring in Mighty Anna now. Draco into full. You're at minus two, that's not gonna do anything. Okay. We do have to reveal that we're leftovers now. We get to see all the speed tiers. Mighty Enna definitely comes in for Rillaboom. They must fake out Volcarona, right? So I just protect, bring in Mighty Anna. If that's too, but it, it might be just a little too obvious that I protect my Volcarona. So I'm going to Quiver Dance. I need to make plays in this one. I'm a little bit behind after their turn one, just deleting my Dragon Ball. If they do go for an attack with Ensign, it's okay because we got them intimidated. They didn't use fake out. Great. Show me like a knockoff into my dog or something. Body pressing the dog. No! Mighty Yenna, no! Don't like that. Could be what? Parting shot? Knockoff? Knockoff. Minus one knockoff shouldn't be too bad. That's okay. How's this grass looking? Because we have to bring in Rillaboom now. We lost two Pokemon. Because they body pressed the dog swap. Oh, we're gonna run out of grass real soon. Grass and rain run out this turn. I'm gonna get another Quiver Dance, because why not? I could prevent a body press, or I could prevent. I think preventing a parting shot would be better. I'm gonna fake out Ensign. Get another, another Quiver Dance. If they're willing to body press Volcarona, they do have to risk a burn. It doesn't do much damage anyway. No burn? Oh, come on. Rain's done. Alright, they can hard swap Pelipper to take my fire move. But then they lose Pelipper. Fiery Dance. Do I also high horsepower? They've got plus two defense already. Maybe I Giga Drain the Ensign just to get some health back and high horsepower it?
Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Get a little bit of health back off of the Ensign. They didn't hard switch into Pelipper. Interesting. Body press into Rillaboom. Fine. Thank you for the high horsepower. Ensign does live it. But they just knock off my Rillaboom. Okay. Fine by me. Now I launch Fiery Dance into the Archaladon. Which I guess they can. And body press my Rillaboom. Because they're faster than Rillaboom. I don't like that. Uh, I don't know if Fiery Dance picks up a KO, but if it does, awesome. And then probably just Wood Hammer into their Ensign. That probably does enough, and they might swap Pelipper here. They don't swap Pelipper, that's great. Show me a KO. This is so many boosts. Okay, our Chaladon's just busted. <laughs> our Chaladon is just a busted Pokemon. Rillaboom goes down. Ensign gets its parting shot, probably. Yeah. Then what can I do? I can protect Volcarona to bait out or protect from their Pelipper. I could just attack their Pelipper. Pelipper is more threatening. They could swap in Ensign, but that's a little risky. I think their play here should be Protect Pelipper. And I need to get rid of Pelipper, not Archaladon. Means I need to protect full Corona, calling their protect. Come on, show me your protect from Pelipper. Nope, no protect from Pelipper. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, if they're not gonna protect Pelipper at all, if their plan is just don't do it, then I can heal one HP or boost my special attack, maybe. Yeah, I guess I Giga Drain the Pelipper now. Because I can't risk an attack into Archaladon and Pelipper attack. But their plan was just to never protect Pelipper. So I guess that didn't hurt. I get one HP back. Um. Don't burn the Archaladon. Oh, that did so much damage. Actually, I think I lose anyway. That was a crit. Oh, that's why. Yeah, now I can't win. Actually, do they have Aqua Jet? Because I'm at plus three. I'm, I'm very likely faster than them. Two turns of rain. I still don't think I can win. Because of that crit. If they have Aqua Jet. Do they also have Terra? They also have Terra. I need to protect here. See what they log into. They don't use Terra. But they do have Aqua Jet. See, if that body press hadn't crit me, I would be able to Terra Grass, not go down to Aqua Jet. But I'm definitely in Aqua Jet range now because of the body press crit. And that matters because I could Terra Grass, I could Giga Drain. Oh, then I'd probably go down to body press anyway. There's no way I take this Aqua Jet in the rain. Zero chance. Which means... I need to get the double protect to stall out rain. Even then I probably don't take the Aqua Jet. But it's my only shot. And I don't get the double protect. Okay. Ah, GG to my opponent. I, I, I was playing from behind there the whole game. 
No, no flame body burns. None. Hold, okay, bye. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> we do have flame body, right? Yeah, I just checked. We got flame body. All right, GG's. But uh, go get a trainer card, please. All right, here we go. Ensign, Rillaboom, Indeedy. Rillaboom and Indeedy. Torkoal, Gothitel, and their own Primarina. This is a Trick Room team? They've got two possible Trick Room setters, a Follow Me, two Fake Outs, Psychic and Grassy Terrain. This is weird. Volcarona's Terra, I think it was Grass. Yeah, that's not super good into Torkoal. My one problem is getting trapped, but... My own Trick Room, I can block both Fake Out and I can block, well not block their Trick Room, but reset their Trick Room if they set it. Dragapult doesn't feel great here, they've got a Fairy, they've got Incineroar, they've just got too much bulk to really break through. And I can't Ghost Terra Blast safely because of the Indeedee. Setting up with Volcarona does actually feel really good though. I think that's what I need to do. I'm locked in once I bring it though. So I better be sure. Do I want to bring it with Farigarath? Rillaboom? Mightyena? I think I want to bring Farigarath in front. Block fake outs. Try to reverse Trick Room. Mightyena in the back, and... Rillaboom. Rillaboom can get me a fake out turn later because I'm guaranteed when he comes out to have on grassy terrain on. Uh, I don't necessarily want to Terra Volcarona into any of them except Primarina. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Good card. Don't lead Primarina Ga. Primarina Instant. That's not as bad. I don't love it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love that at all. Uh, at least I can swap, though. I don't have to commit to setting up with Volcarona right here, right now. Maybe I could, though. Oh, this is risky. I'm gonna tear a grass. I'm gonna quiver dance. And I'm just gonna gleam for some chip. If they read this and just fire blitz, GG. <laughs> you got me. I do, th I do think it's definitely a hyper voice, but I think it might just be a knockoff into Farigarath. Which I would be okay with taking. Even even if Farigarath goes down, it's, it's done its job, basically. Prevented them from getting Trick Room up right away. Because they didn't lead with a Trick Room squad right away. Parting shot into Volcarona. Fine. Fine, yes. Take the thing that threatens me and take it off the field, please. That's great. I love that. Not to go into Torkoal, it's a bit awkward. No, not the worst case, because Torkoal's are so slow, we can just wail on it. Got the town. Alright, I'm trapped in. It's fine. A little bit of chip. Carriage saw. Alright. I see you. Unfortunately for you, your Ensign went first, so you're, you have a Parish count on your god. I wasn't really too worried about this, but maybe I should be? <laughs> Goth has to protect here. I have to call it though. I need to Quiver Dance, otherwise I'm not going to be able to knock out Goth.
I'll also hit it with a Psychic Noise just in case it has a berry and it doesn't protect here. I think Gothitelle should definitely protect here. It did not. Okay, I lose. <laughs> that play alone. I lose. I needed to get damage on Goth while I could. There was no way I was ever knocking it out, though. If I could have stopped it from protecting next turn, that'd be nice. Moon Bat, Blast into Volcorno, it's fishing for a special attack drop. And tricky. Well, I'm gonna try to grab a KO on my way out. Was prevented from healing your leftovers on Gothitelle. Gotcha. Count for the two, two. Now they protect, presumably. I'm going to see if I can take a KO on Primarina with Giga Drain. And take this free chance to reverse the Trick Room for my Mons in the back. Okay, it's a Protect from Prim. Probably also Goth. Yeah. Okay. That's the turn where I needed the Quiver Dance. <laughs> You don't get your trick room, and I get to throw a hit here, and I need to knock something out. I know Incineroar is going to come in on one slot or the other, and I know you wanted trick room. Carriage count's falling to one. This is not looking good. Nothing you have in the back wants to take a boosted fiery dance with Helping Hand. So as long as Ensign doesn't come in on the goth slot, we should be able to do a huge chunk into somebody. One play they could make though is swap Ensign for Prim and let Gothitelle go down to try to get Trick Room back up. Alright, show me... Torkoal? <laughs> Something unrivals. Is that instant? Ah, oh, I got the instant slot wrong. Show me this is Torkoal then. Rillaboom. Man, if I had gotten the slots right, I could have taken Rillaboom with me. Alright, well, they got Rilla, they got Prim. They got a couple fake out users, that means they're both on the field right now, which is a little awkward. Yeah, it's a 4v2, and our two are not looking that great. We don't have much of anything to hit an Incineroar. Yeah, they got triple fake out in Primarina in a 2v4. That is what can happen with Parasong sometimes, yeah! I did not lead correctly into it. What could I have done better? Taunt or Throat Chop could have prevented Parish Song from ever going up. Lillaboom doesn't have a pivot move, but Dragapult's a ghost and could have swapped. Rillaboom's turn one fake out would have been convenient as well. Yeah, if I had to redo this, I would have put Mightyena in front. And I would have used Throat Chop to prevent the Parish Song from ever happening. And probably also have led Dragapult, or maybe a fake out so that they can't fake out my fake out. We're currently in a position where we should try to fake out something, but I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it. We have high horsepower into the Incineroar. They're both intimidated. I think... Throat Chop into Rillaboom is probably the best damage I can do with it right now. Would they fake out my Rillaboom? I don't know. I'm going to try to Throat Chop their Rillaboom. I'm going to try to... 
high horsepower they're in. Sin. We're not intimidated right now, at least. Ensign just swaps. Fine. I guess. It's pre Marina. And fake out into my Rillaboom. Okay. They want to click Parish Song really bad. But they also have a defensive Terra available to do that with. Throat Chop will at least prevent, you know. I didn't look at the speed tiers between Rillabooms because I'm just... I, I lost this game anyway. I don't know what I don't know why I'm still playing. But I guess there's a chance they throw. Uh, if I could Throat Chop prevent that and they hard switch in instant just to get an Intimidate and I crit a high horsepower into it, that could be nice. Just to protect from Prim. Our Rillaboom was faster anyway. U-turn? Yeah. Could have also worked if we were slower, but we're faster. Thanks a lot, Evan. Now they can fake out, set up Parish Song, use a defensive Terra, if they have it. I assume they would have Grass or Dragon, or maybe Steel. there was any way to get around that. But let's see if they keep playing correctly, because I still have outs if they throw. Because I can throw a chop, and if they don't want to fake out, I could crit a high horsepower. They're going to tear the pre Marina, definitely. That's why I've consistently not wood hammered it. It is steel. So honestly, if they could throw hard enough for me to still win this, but it would require some crits and some throws. Yeah, fake out, fake out into Mighty Eno seals the game. Actually. I guess maybe I should have covered for the Terra being steel and gone for a high horsepower there. But it is now impossible, impossible for me to take enough KOs in the next three turns. So good game to my opponent. They, they played well. I just didn't have the strength to break through because... I didn't, I didn't play it right. Mighty Anna Rillaboom in front is probably what I needed to do. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna run this one. GG. Click the button so I can go. And there they go. They clicked the buttons. And they had a good trainer card, so respect. Alright, we've got, they've got their own Rillaboom, Primarina, and Volcarona. They also have their own Farigarath. They have a King Gambit, which is very scary. And a Raichu. That's cool. I think we need to use Volcarona. But if we Terra Grass, we're weak to their Volcarona. Primarina's Terra is Grass, which also becomes weak to their Volcarona. Dragapult is Terra Ghost, so it's always going to be weak to their King Gambit. So we're just not bringing Dragapult. Mightyena, I'm going to bring, but I'm worried about the King Gambit be just being led. So I won't lead Mightyena. I think I'll lead Rillaboom Volk. See if I can get a Quiver Dance up, just to threaten the King Gambit. Have Mightyena in the back, it's good for Intimidate against the Rillaboom, it's good for Throat Chop against the Primarina. Snarl could just help across the board as long as King Gambit's not on the field. And then probably Pre-Marina last. It resists what King Gambit does with its dark moves. It can hit their Volcarona until they Terra. It's not great into their Rillaboom, but I don't think their Rillaboom is going to be a big threat. I think it's going to be the whole rest of the team that's a big threat. And they also have a Furigraph, so I do have to be careful about when I click Fake Out. There always could be a Furigraph coming in. Well, we'll see what my idea. Oh, that's cool. The shadow on Mewtwo there makes it look like Dark Mewtwo or something. Okay, Rillaboom King Gambit. Oh, well, they recognized that King Gambit was the scariest thing they had. Whose grass gets set up first? Theirs. No! <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna try to fake out their King Gambit. If they fake out my Volcarona, I'm happy for the trade. If they fake out my Rillaboom, I can get a Fiery Dance into their King Gambit. Fair is fair. If they protect their King Gambit and go for like a Swords Dance with Rillaboom, then I don't know what they're cooking. And whether or not they Terra and which thing they Terra could tell me a little bit about what they're trying to do. They obviously want to sweep me with King Gambit, and I think they have a good shot at it. We get a fake out. They didn't fake out with their Rillaboom. They're going to U-turn out. Let me get a free Fiery Dance into King Gambit. Thank you for this free damage. I love that. Go ahead and U-turn out. I'll take a ton of damage on Rillaboom. That's a fine trade for me. My Rillaboom is not as important as your King Gambit. Unless you plan to sweep with Primarina. Oh, hi, Primarina. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, you plan to sweep with it now. I could Terra Grass Quiver Dance. Maybe also throw a high horsepower at King Gambit just to keep it on its toes. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, they just swap out anyway. I thought they might either swap or protect or... Oh, it's Raichu. Hello. You don't like swapping into high horsepower at all. Maybe they're like an assault vest set and they thought Fiery Dance wouldn't be too scary. They shouldn't be faster than my Volcarona, so they can't encore me into Quiver Dance. Uh, at least when I'm plus one, they shouldn't be faster anymore. Plus, if I connect a high horsepower, they should go down to Grassy Glide. Green Marina also Terra's, it's just scared of the Rillaboom. <laughs> you should be scared of the Volcarona, though. You're just Terra Grass. You now have a Grass type, a Free Marina with a Grass type on its head, a low health Steel type, and a Raichu that's about to take a big hit. Volcarona is in a great position. I do have to worry about Sucker Punch, though. Probably my biggest fear. My horsepower. Raichu is not Sash. Goodbye. Show me it's just Hyper Voice and that you're not Throat Spray. It is Hyper Voice. It does very little damage. And you're not Throat Spray. That's awesome. That's exactly what I asked for. Thank you. I appreciate you. They bring in King Gambit. Probably. Or could it just be Rillaboom? It could just be Rillaboom and Fake Out, yeah. But like, whatever. I'll just swap my Rillaboom into Mighty Enna just to get it on the field while I can. Don't want my Primarina in right now. Don't want my Rillaboom in right now. I want another Fake Out later. So I'll bring Mighty Enna in now because King Game is not on the field. Though if Primarina swaps, Rillaboom should swap before Primarina. So yeah, we'd, we'd be fine. Swap in Mighty Yenna. Do I need to protect Volcarona? I don't know that I actually do. I'm gonna Fiery Dance their Rillaboom. Battle's just cancelled. Okay. They saw what they did. <laughs> GG, I guess. Volcarona sweet. And we are back. Mighty Enna certainly appeared in some of those battles. The one battle, the Battle of Earth's Mousehold, I could not have won that without that Intimidate. So thank you, Mighty Enna. You are responsible for one of the wins today. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. There is a rental code for this up in the top right corner if you want to try it yourself. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.